Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me and pregnancy Q&A. So if you don't know, I am 23 weeks pregnant. I have 17 weeks to go, which is crazy, but I just thought I would answer some questions so I put up on my Instagram and also like an anonymous Google form thing for people to ask and I get loads through and I thought what about what better way to answer the questions than putting on makeup and making myself feel human because I'm not feeling like that a lot of the time <laughs> so if you want to see how I got this look and hear me answering some pregnancy questions then keep watching so let's get started I'm trying to make myself look like less of a toe. I've just made myself a cup of tea. I suggest you do the same because I have a feeling that this is gonna, not even gonna be a long video, but just gonna be like the type of video that you wanna sit with a cup of tea, a glass of wine, whatever your preference is, a cup of coffee, and drink it while you're watching this video. I feel like it's gonna be very chilled. I've moved positions. I normally in my room. If I'm ever filming videos like this with my lights behind me, but I've just moved out here into our sitting room just because it feels more chilled. Also, my face looks so pale. Oh my god. You will have to excuse my hair, it really, really needs washed, but I couldn't be bothered if I'm honest. I'm gonna start off with primer and I'm gonna be mixing the Be Bold Oh My Gold Oh What? Oh My Gold Gold Pearl Eliminator. And then I'm also going to be using my, oh my god, this is the best makeup product ever invented. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I think that's what it's called. Mine's in the shade four, but I swear, this is the best makeup product. If you're on the fence by buying this, get off the fence. Get off it, honestly. So, uh, how are we all? This is my first sit-down video of 2021. Woo! Who thought we'd ever actually make it here? I'm going to answer some pregnancy related questions. I had put up a question box on my Instagram and I got some through and then I also had put up an, an anonymous Google form and people sent through some on that as well. Which I knew that's where probably most of them would be because people are nosy but don't want to know that they don't want me to know that they're being nosy, if that makes sense. And I understand that because there's questions that I want to ask people, but I'm like, I don't want them to think I'm rare asking that. So I'll start off with questions from Instagram. Any names and are you finding out the sex? So those two questions were both asked quite a bit. We are not finding out the gender. The nosiness in me actually does really, really want to find out, but I just know that I'd be raging with myself if I didn't find out and it also can be wrong and that is the thought of being told that you're having say a boy and you end up having a girl or vice versa obviously oh it just it scares me so I'm not finding out <laughs> we're not finding out then any names and yes we have a boy's name a middle name picked and a girl's name and a girl's middle name so we are sorted <laughs> there was this one name that i wanted for a daughter my whole life i'm not going to mention what products i'm using i know i mentioned the two products earlier but i'm just going to list everything in the description if you're wondering yeah there was a girl's name that i grew up thinking that i wanted and then <laughs> i said it in our house one day and I just have had the piss taken out of me for it ever since. So obviously we're not going with that name. But then I remember when I, oh my God, where did that go, did that go in my teeth? Whenever I picked this name, the name for the girl that we have decided, I remember seeing it. And it's not a weird name, and it's something that everybody is going to have heard before. Like you're not gonna only know if I do have a girl. My daughter is not gonna be the only person that you know with the name, but when I heard it, I said to Shane, and he was like, this was years ago, by the way, but he was like, yeah, that's it. Like, that is definitely it. So I've just been 
set on that girl's name ever since. And then for the boy's name, I think boy's names are so hard. I kind of struggled a bit. There's one name that I am like I really love, but we're not having it for a reason. And if we have a boy, <laughs> I'll explain that. But yeah, we have names picked if it's a boy or if it's a girl. There's also a question, are you going for an Irish name? And the name will not be Irish. Um, I just, I don't know. You see Irish names that are just like Irish for the sake of being Irish, like people have just added a fada and it doesn't make sense. Don't they annoy me, but I just, I'm like, why? That child is never gonna find their name on anything in an apple green. Have you any ideas what you might be having? This changes all the time. There's days where I'm like, definitely having a boy. She is like, why? And I'm like, I just am. Um. And then there's days where I'm like, I'm definitely having a girl. So I have no idea. I don't even know how you would have an idea because this is my first pregnancy. So it's not as if, if I had a daughter already, I could compare the pregnancies, which I know is a thing that if you have a similar pregnancy, if you've had a boy and your next pregnancy is very similar, you probably think you're having a boy. But I have nothing to go on. All I have to go on is how I feel and I have no idea. Although there's like loads of, there's like this Chinese baby calculator thing or gender calculator and it told me that I am having a girl. So take from that what you will. Are you scared about childbirth or excited? I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm weird, but not it doesn't scare me. Like I know it's gonna be the most excruciating pain I've ever been in in my life. But I just think at the end of the day, it is short term pain for the biggest long term gain. You know, it's the baby has to come out. So I don't know. I'm just, I'm really not that nervous. I've been watching loads of like birth vlogs and everything. The thing is, I'm more nervous about, not about literally giving birth, about pain of the contractions so I'm not even like nervous about it I just know it's going to hurt a lot but it's just the way it is and you know if it was absolutely like the most horrific unbearable pain people wouldn't do it like people wouldn't go on and have more children after experiencing it so I'm nervous just because I know it's going to be painful but I'm not nervous I'm not more nervous than I am excited I'm just really, really, like, I'm, I'm really excited. Really, really excited. I still have 17 weeks to go at the time of filming this, but I'm just still, like, so excited already. What are you most excited for? My sister asked me this. I'm honestly just most excited to be a mummy. Like, to look at this child and for it to be 50% me. 50% Shane. I know that probably sounds really cringy and cheesy but honestly I am excited to look at a baby and be like you have that of mine or you have that of your daddy's. I I don't know. I'm just... Can you tell I'm excited? Would you like to have your babies close in age? Um, I'm not like planning on having a baby. <laughs> Obviously very soon after this one. But I I don't know because Shane and I would like to be married by our next baby, I would I would think, and in a house of our own. So it just kinda depends. Honestly, I, I don't know the way that's gonna work and you know if it happens and we're blessed with another baby then that's just the way it is so I don't know I, I wouldn't like there to be an absolutely massive gap but like I look at my cousin's daughter and she is nine and she has a sister who is one now, there are two children in between but she is amazing with the one-year-old like I mean she is absolutely phenomenal and if I had the opportunity to like have two children that were that far apart in age 
but they would have that relationship I'd be so like I would be so so glad but at the same time I would like them like going through primary school at the same age and like <sighs> I don't know something you dislike about pregnancy the tiredness out of 10 how would you reach pregnancy so far <laughs> like fine you know like I wouldn't rate it 10 out of 10 like you know there's days where it's not fun but there are also days where it's the best like seeing scans like going to scans and being able to see your baby growing and moving about and hearing the heartbeat and everything is just nothing could ever compare to it it's like a feeling I've never experienced before it's also feeling your baby move weird but absolutely unbelievable i felt the baby move for the first time oh god was it about 17 18 weeks and oh, it was like oh it was the most amazing feeling ever and then now the movement it's not even like kicks anymore it's like i can actually just feel it wriggling about and i can see it moving like through my clothes which is so strange but it is so cool. Also we have a very active baby, which we have been told by everybody who has scanned it. So that's fun. You can imagine how much I'm feeling it move. Somebody asked, would you like to have a boy or a girl? Now, I don't know if this is a thing, but I just always think that a boy wants a boy and a girl wants a girl. Like Sheen is dying for a son, dying for one, but obviously would love a girl as well but I think he would just prefer a boy and I think that's like I don't think people should feel bad in saying that I like our girl's name more than I like our boy's name so <laughs> not that I want I know that's not how it works but honestly and I know everybody says it and it's so cliche a healthy baby I'm so happy even <laughs> like oh, I just want a healthy baby and I want it now but yeah, I like our girl's name better than I like our boys. But at the start, I was like, I really want a girl. Like, I really want a girl. But now, I can't imagine myself having either. At the start, I could not imagine myself with a boy. And then my friend had a boy. And I can now imagine myself with a boy. I don't know. Oh, there's our postman. That was awkward. He thinks I'm mental. How many children did you want and has it changed since you became pregnant? That is actually a very interesting question. So there are four of us in our house and there are just Shane and his brother. Because I grew up having a sister and two brothers, I just always imagined that that's what I would have. I would have two boys and two girls. I just think now four is a lot. Four is a lot of children. I want more than two, so I'm thinking three. <laughs> I also don't really like odd numbers. I don't know. The TV can be at an odd number, like the volume. The radio the volume can be at an odd number, but odd numbers of children, I don't know. I, I, I just have never liked that. I know that's very, very strange, but I think three is I think that's a good amount of children because, but then there's like, you know, if I had two girls and a boy, the boy would never have a brother. And then if I had two boys and a girl, the girl would never have a sister. I know I, I might have three of three boys or three girls, but I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I think that will change with age as well. And I suppose it just depends how, how she and I are both feeling, but we're both, we both think, the four, is t four <laughs> seems like a lot, but two is too little. But neither of us like odd numbers. <laughs> she really hates odd numbers, like the TV volume cannot be an odd number. He goes mental. Will you still be singing at weddings? What is your last wedding going to be? So I plan on obviously all being well with me, with the baby and with the world. I plan on working until the start of May. So I am due 
the middle of May. So I think that'll be okay. It's not going to be days at days in an office, and they're not going to be really long days. My daddy is actually just partially retired, so if I have say a wedding on a Friday and carry my gear, it's obviously going to be quite the challenge. But he said he'll come with me, so and carry it. So I'm kind of landed in that way. I just want, I want to be able to sing for as long as possible because obviously I've been kind of out of work since COVID hit in March. I haven't fully been in work since. Last March, I say March, like it's mm, August, it's January. It's almost a year. I so see, yeah, I plan to work for as long as possible because of the financial side of it. Does the baby look like you or Shane in the scans? At the minute, we can't, we can't tell. It's just, you just can't really tell. Although it has, it has Shane's nose, it seems at the minute. Shane has a really like wee tiny button nose. I know that I've said that. You're never gonna be able to unsee Shane's wee button nose. <laughs> but we have a 4D scan booked. Mm, I don't even know. I think I'll still be in my second trimester. I'm honestly not sure. I can't really remember when I booked it for. I booked it ages ago. So yeah, we'll be able to see more then, obviously, who the baby looks like because it's gonna be a clearer scan. I'm, pardon me. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. I just think that's gonna be the most amazing thing. I actually know a boy that him and his girlfriend had a 4D scan and he said it was absolutely incredible so I'm really really looking forward to that obviously it's a couple of weeks away still I don't know will we see it and be like oh my god that's definitely Shane or that's definitely me or you know will we look at it and think oh that's definitely a girl or that's definitely a boy I don't know do you have a birthing plan so that is a good question I'm kind of working on that at the minute I know that I just want to be as calm as possible. Like, yeah, I just want to be calm. So I'm planning on doing hypnobirthing. And up until this week, I hadn't thought much more about it, but I went for a bath the other night and I was doing some hypnobirthing or listening to like a hypnobirthing thing in the bath and I had like loads of candles lit and it was lovely and relaxing and then I started to think, I was like, do I want a water birth? I don't know. So I need to think more about it and I need to research it more but I find the water really relaxing. Not like the water is in like the sea, like I actually hate the sea but I find baths so relaxing. So maybe, maybe a water birth would be good for me, keep me as calm as humanly possible which is my goal the more calm i am the better for the baby do you have any plans for birth for slash feeding sorry if it's too personal you're looking great thank you whenever i actually first read that question i was like oh that is a bit personal but people are asking so i obviously just explained the birth side of it but on the side of feeding I, at the minute, do not plan on breastfeeding. That is not to say I am against it. You know, if when the baby is born, I decide I want to breastfeed, then I'll, I'll try it. It's just not something I have ever imagined myself doing. It's, I can't explain it, and I have absolutely no like rationale behind it, but it's just not something I can imagine myself doing feeling comfortable with. So at the minute it's a no. I don't plan on breastfeeding but that could well change. That could well change. And if it does then it does and if it doesn't then it doesn't. You know I don't think anybody should feel bad for not breastfeeding and I don't think that anybody who does breastfeed should feel that it's bad for breastfeeding. I just think it's totally up to each individual and that's that's that none of us were breastfed Shane wasn't breastfed we all turned out all good who will be your baby's godparents well i have one sister Shane has one brother so we're, we're both like 
been very close with them as well. I would say Ola's Shein's best friend and Rebecca's my best friend. So yeah, that probably won't come as a surprise to anybody who actually knows us. <laughs> I don't actually even know if we have to like formally ask them or if they just assume. <laughs> I mean, it's been talked about, but do we actually have to be like, will you do me the honor of being, I don't know. Do you find it hard dressing the bump? You should do a video on this. So hard. I don't know why I didn't think it was going to be that hard, but oh my God, it is. I am like living in a pair of leggings that I'm wearing at the minute that I am going to be including and I'm gonna be doing like a pregnancy essentials video and I also have a maternity clothing haul that should be coming soon. But it is, it's, it's really, really hard because it's like you don't want things that just like hang over it, that don't accentuate it. Anyway, that's how I feel like I would just rather accentuate the bump than try cover it. Like I'm not trying to cover it, so why would I? Then I have always been a person that has worn probably tighter fit clothing so I don't know if that's just me but yes it is very difficult I am getting in to kind of the swing of things at the minute I've ordered a few bits that comfy like comfort is key it is key because well mine anyway my bump feels quite tight a lot of the time so I just Honestly, I just want to be comfortable. If I could wear pajamas all day, every day, I would. My weirdest craving. I haven't actually had many weird. Well, I haven't actually had many cravings. Never mind weird cravings. Just sugar, like fizzy sweets. If you watched my last pregnancy Q and A, I had a very strange aversion, which was I went off tea, which was so hard. Honestly, it was so hard. There's this packet of sweets. They're like look -o look sour sticks and they have been the best thing ever. I loved them before pregnancy, but in this pregnancy, they have been my lifesaver. Somebody asked, when are you going to start buying stuff for the baby? And this week we actually bought our first two bits. So I am currently 23 weeks pregnant and I've been wanting to buy stuff for a while, but my mommy is very, I suppose, superstitious about it and doesn't think that we should be buying anything until we skip the last minute. <laughs> with COVID and everything and with Brexit, we don't actually know, you know, how far back orders are going to be pushed and stuff. So we we ordered two things and actually they both arrived. They're sitting right beside me, but I'm going to wait. I said in my weekly vlog, which should be my next video, that I want to wait and do like an actual stuff we've bought for the baby video rather than just showing it in my weekly vlogs as we buy the stuff. So there should be a video like that coming soon. Not coming soon, coming at some stage because I don't know when or what we'll buy next. We need to go and look at prams. These wings have turned very, very dramatic. <laughs> Are you and Shane going to be getting a house together? Ideally, obviously, but we are not in a position to do so. It's plain and simple. So Shane is going to move in to our house. So I have my own, obviously my own bedroom, and then I have my own suite. And then attached to my bedroom is the sitting room because my nana used to live with us and she basically had like a, a granny flat kind of. So I moved down here. My bedroom was upstairs. If you've been a long time subscriber, you'll know that it's like over three years now. But I moved down here just to have more room. I did not have the room in my bedroom upstairs. It was just messy all the time because I have my wardrobe obviously in my room. I have my dressing table. Now all I have in my bedroom is my bed basically. So it's easier to keep clean, but I don't actually keep it clean. <laughs> so yeah, Shane's gonna be moving here because we have the room and I can't, 
imagine not being here when the baby's born. But like I said, the main thing is really that we are not in a position to be buying a house. And we don't want to rent. Also, I forgot to mention that my daddy is actually just partially retired, so it works really, really well that we'll be here. No, I already did mention that my dad is partially retired, but he'll be here to help, you know, with the baby stuff. And also, my mommy is working from home, so she'll also be here. Gonna be a busy house, but busy houses are the best. We're actually in the midst of like doing up this sitting room. Not properly doing up, but just like getting a few wee bits. So it's more for me and Shane, Shane and I, and the baby. So we've got a new TV. Can't wait till it's actually done to probably see it. I've ordered pictures to make it more about us, like pictures of us, obviously. And then when the baby comes, there'll be and nappies and shit lying everywhere. <laughs> My sister asked me, will you love your child even if they don't like musicals? No. <laughs> that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you asked a question, I hope I answered it. There was obviously a lot of duplicates like, do you know any names? Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, if you have any more pregnancy or even just normal video requests, let me know. So if you did like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.